uh, Wilson Morales from Black TV. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. How are you? Good. You know, most of your work involves TV series, you know? So uh, obviously when this came about, what was intriguing enough for you to say yes? Um, so, uh, so, so Lady Sybil is um, a gift of a, of a role. She's, um, she's funny, she's messy, she's, um, she's entitled, she's, she's uh, privileged. Um, so, uh, and, and she's angry and, and she has an insanely strong sense of, of, of justice. Um, she's autonomous. I mean, it was just a, an, an enormous amount. Uh, they, they just tick all the boxes for me. She gave me a, an enormous amount of freedom as well as an artist to, to engage with, with new characteristics that I hadn't really done before. Um, so it was, it was a no brainer, to be honest. It was, a, it was a true gift. Every episode seems like she has something mysterious up her sleeve. You never know where she's gonna go. She's not one note, you know? So how, how, how do they want you to play the character as fun as it is? Um, I think, I think, well, how do they want me to play the character? Um, yes, as, as, as fun as it is, and I, I think, I guess, I guess that's when, when my job kind of kicks in is that you, 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 you interpret um, what's on the page and, and, and obviously direction. And then, and then it's your, and then it's your turn. Um, and so I, I went as, um, I wanted her to be as, as, as funny and wild as possible, but always rooted in truth. And I wanted her to, to also have um, a center, in, you know, in amongst all of the, all of the, the tornado of, of things that are happening both outside and inside her, for her to have a soft center. And, and I wanted the vulnerability to be to be um, visible and available to the audience, just so that there's a, um, a possibility for connection and understanding. There's a lot going on with this series. It's like a sci-fi procedural comic series, which is rare. You know, how, it's like, how do they make it work? How do they sell it? You know, how would you best describe this series? Um, I would best describe it as um, a series which is about um, resistance, about hope and about believing in the ability to, to change and to stand together and, and to say no. Well, yes, whatever you wanna <laughs> say, say it together. <laughs> now, when you first got the script and you, know, you saw what a lady would look like and you know, she's got the hair, then obviously in episode one or two, you see it's not really a hair. Was that your call? <laughs> Was that all them and go, and, as an actress, uh, did you was like, okay, I'm gonna go bored for this. Oh no, we're gonna use the prosthetics. <laughs> yeah, so I'm actually, it's, it's a shame because I, I was, uh, I had a shaved head not, not too far, um, not too long ago, uh, but I was growing it out and I just couldn't deal with shaving it again. You know, you get to that stage where it's like, it's here and then it's here and then it's like in between thing. And so I was braiding it and wearing wigs. Um, so, and they did, they asked me to shave it, but I was like, I can't, I'm sorry, it's just taking too long to grow it, so no. Um, so we did, the, we did the prosthetics and it worked really well. Um, the makeup team were amazing. Um, I was, I was, I was uh, very impressed by the color match. <laughs> it took a while, but they did really, really well. And, um, but so yeah, so her, 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 her wig, yeah, there's, there's a lot of wigs. And um, it was probably one of the, uh, one of the aesthetically, one of the aspects of her that I felt most connected to, because I I do wear wigs all the time, probably for the last ten years, and um, I have a I have a room filled with them, and I make them, and I don't make them. It's a whole it's a whole game that I like playing, and pink, red, whatever, whatever tickles my fancy, I I wear. Um, so I liked the 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 sort of she's very. Um, She's very honest in her wig wearing. There's no shame. She's not like, oh my God, my dragon burnt my hair and now I have to like, you know, hide. She's like, I wear wigs, it falls off. I pick it back up, I put it back on again. And tomorrow oh. I'm a straight one. And then today I've got a curly one and obviously they're wigs and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm having fun. And so um, there was, it, it, it's, it was, it was, uh, it was liberating actually because in, in usually with characters um, as an actor, I am hiding the fact that I'm wearing a wig. So it was fun to just be like, hey, it falls off, put it back on. It was, um, yeah, it was, it was very unusual. <laughs> Taking that all into account, as you mentioned, you know, this was a front row to play because there's a lot of things you can do with the character. Uh, and since you've already shot all the episodes, uh, what do you take from here 
from what you've done to the next projects you do? Um, what's your takeaway? Say that once more. What's, what, what's your takeaway? What's my takeaway? Yeah. So I would say um, liberation. There was something I, I learned. Um, I learned how not to always, uh, how not to always bring, I mean, you have to bring your story, of course, you, you, you just do. Otherwise, um, otherwise you're not true. You know, you, you go from within out, I would say. Uh, so, but I think that perhaps I have been restricting myself and I think I found, I found liberation in Sybil and I think I will take that on with me, with me in, my, in my next characters. But before I let you go, how's work with this cast? You know, obviously when you do a series and it's not like you, it's a regular series where you're working week after week, but you've already shot this episode. How was bonding with this cast? Um, fantastic. It was uh, a truly special, we all fell in love with each other, I think within the first couple of weeks. Um, uh, Joe Eaton Kent, Sam Adewumi, um, uh, Richard Dormer, Marima, everybody. It, it was um, we all just really just connected, and um, and we were all on the same page, um, which is from the beginning, from the off, which is unusual. Because sometimes you have to calibrate and you have to really look at each other, and and you know, you, and you figure that out within the first couple of um, weeks. Hopefully, not episodes, but <laughs> first couple of weeks, and and that wasn't the case. We all just um, we all just really knew what I think there was that that's also because of the clarity of the scripts. Um, Simon Allen was clear uh, as to what he wanted the show to be, and so and we we all we all got that. Um, so yeah, it was it was it was truly special. It seems like you had a lot of fun. I'll be looking forward to see what you do next. Keep it going wherever you're at. Stay safe. Thank you very much. Pleasure to talk to you.